Should I cross this rickety bridge over a river? I think I should. Hey witch, today I wanted to go hiking, foraging for mushrooms specifically. I am out in the middle of central Pennsylvania and there are noises all around me. Murderers. Um, but looking for mushrooms, today I've only found a little bit of turkey tail that was closer to my house. So I'm out here in this giant beautiful oak forest looking for some choice edibles and also medicinals. So let's see what we find. <laughs> Shut up. I think I just found my first oyster mushrooms, but the problem is they're on this giant tree. So, um, I fully do not <laughs> recommend this if you are foraging alone in the middle of the woods. I am slightly or acrobatically inclined, so I'm not too worried. But um, don't try this at home or in the woods, I guess. As I balance on this log, I did find some turkey tail. So I might come back for those, but we still have a long way to go. Did I just risk breaking a leg for that mushroom? Yes, I did. <laughs> Do you see though? Look at all those oysters. So yummy. They actually smell like seafood too. So now I'm probably going to attract some cats in the woods or something. A bobcat. Ooh, could you imagine? But now we're on the hunt for more now that I've upped my adrenaline rate and I'm like shaking because that was terrifying. It was a lot higher than it looked. But I'm going to go hunt for some more and I'll let you know if I find something. think I'm not positive but I think I may have just found my first ever chicken of the woods I'm not positive though so <laughs> let's get a closer look I guess I'm like 90% chance what I'm like 90% sure that this is chicken of the woods but like look how gross it is there's bird poop on it and there's bugs living in it so we're gonna pass on this but I'm glad to know that I found it because I've been looking for it for days Looking for some mushrooms, hoping my phone doesn't die, cause I don't know where I am. So. Well, howdy y'all, I just found another oyster mushroom. What is that accent? Pauline? I don't know. So, the one thing I hate about mushroom hunting is all of the spider webs. I somehow managed to run into every single one of them. And um, also the gnats, because the gnats are somehow drawn to my eyeballs. And they fly right into my eye. And then it takes me like, ooh, thorns. It takes me like three hours to get the bug out of my eye. And it's so gross. I hate it. <laughs> but that's just me complaining in the woods. Um, I did just find that oyster mushroom. And I'm looking for more. <gasps> what is that? I think I see more chicken of the woods. Fingers crossed that doesn't have a ton of bugs in it. Let's go check it out. Let me get there. Okay. So I'm gonna put you under there. What do you see? So what do we think? Is this chicken of the woods? I'm going to take it home so I can positively identify it, but I think we may have found some. Look what I just found again. I'm so excited. This one's such a nice condition too. It's nice and new. It's still squidgy. It's not tough and leathery. Oops, I bruised her a little. Sorry, girl. So, so far, I have found three of the like six mushrooms that I've been looking for today. I don't think I'm going to find reishi because I have not seen any hemlock trees anywhere around here. I was originally going to drive an hour to go to the hemlock forest just to get reishi mushrooms. However, I saw this one. I had never been here before, so I wanted to check it out. And I'm really glad I did because we found turkey tail and um, oyster mushrooms and chicken of the woods. I'm really hoping I can still find lion's mane and deadly gallerina. I really want to see 
deadly gallerina in person. I don't know if I'll find that in this forest or not, but keeping my eyes out for it. If I find it, I will show you. I'm almost out of battery though, so this adventure is going to end soon. <laughs> Found some more turkey tail. And it's so fuzzy. So cute. Let's grab some. Ooh, I don't know what she is, but she's fun. Crusty. On the way back to the car, I just found like a little hemlock grove. So I'm gonna check it out for some reishi mushrooms. I am still in the hemlock grove and I have not found any reishi, but I did just find these white polypores. I don't know anything about them other than the fact that they are white polypore mushrooms. Um, yeah, so if anyone knows what that is, let me know. I'll probably take pictures of it and identify it later, but for now, we're gonna leave them here. <laughs> More log balancing. I always feel like a gymnast when I'm in the woods looking for mushrooms. Ooh. Um, so far, I don't see anything. Let's keep looking, though. What happened to this tree? <laughs> Did it get struck by lightning? What happened? I need to know. Just found some more oyster mushrooms. Climb over this! Oh my god. What am I doing? <gasps> this wood is like rotting. Uh, yeah, this is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. Well, that didn't last very long. So, it is a new day and I'm back out here hiking. It's actually my birthday. So, uh, wish me happy birthday in the comments. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you don't have to. It's probably gonna be like a week after my birthday by the time I post this. But... I am mushroom hunting again, and I think I just found my first milk cap. So, um, let's experiment. So, with milk cap mushrooms, if you cut them, they exude a milky substance. So that's cool. That's what the top looks like. It also rained really hard last night, so I'm hoping that there are some more mushrooms growing today. I have been to this park before, but I have never explored this area. There's a lot, it's like an old logging trail, so there's a lot of fallen logs and all that kind of stuff. Perfect for mushroom growth. So I'm hoping that we get lucky again today. I really want to find lion's mane. I still have not found one. And if we can find some hemlock trees, I would love to find some reishi too. I keep getting spider webs all over me. That's my least, least favorite part of foraging is the bugs in my eyes and the spider webs on my face. Other than that, it's so fun. <laughs> Can someone in the comments <laughs> please explain? I'm so concerned. So, so concerned. It is officially day three of going through the woods looking for mushrooms. <laughs> Today I haven't had too much luck, um, but it's been raining the past couple days. So there has been a lot of fungal growth, just not what I'm looking for. I have found some turkey tails already. However, I have a bunch of those at home already, so I'm looking for other choice edibles, but haven't really seen any yet. Can we just talk about how beautiful this is? And I would absolutely be in the water right now if it wasn't for that. <laughs> just people partying and stuff. I don't want to mess up their time. I just want a private swimming hole that no one will bother me. 
um, that's what I'm looking for today. <laughs> Shut up. Do you see that? Do you see that beautiful lion's mane mushroom? I have just successfully found my first lion's mane and I'm so excited. I'm gonna harvest it now, okay? I'm being quiet because there's lots of people around. Well, today was worth it just for that. So. This hike would be absolutely marvelous, perfect, wonderful, pulchritudinous if it wasn't for these motherfucking gnats. Oh my god, they're driving me crazy. Ugh. The one thing that I just, if I stop waving this towel in front of my face for one second, they fly directly into my eyeballs. <laughs> the only thing I can complain about, really, that and spider webs, but spider webs don't bother me nearly as much as these motherfucking gnats. Oh, hey, so um, it's been a month <laughs> since I filmed that video, but um, I forgot to film an outro. So here I am a month later filming an outro for that very video that I filmed a month ago. So since then, I have learned a lot more about mushrooms. Um, that was my very beginnings of mushroom hunting. I have been out many times since I have filmed those three days of mushroom hunting. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video of my foraging for mushrooms, let me know because I am always foraging, so I would love to make more videos. I want to go in a new direction with my channel. I would love to focus more on like plant lore and like the magical uses of plants traditionally as well as like medicinal uses as well because I think that'd be really cool. I'm also getting certified in medicinal plants currently. So in a couple months from now, I will be certified in medicinal plants from Cornell University. <laughs> I also did really quick want to mention that the absolute best place to support me is on Patreon. I did just launch a tarot bag of the month club this month. Um, look at how cute. I started printing my Flower Boys designs onto tarot bags. So they're really high quality. They're made with premium satin lining um non-slip ribbon so they don't fall out when you tug on them draw a string nice and tight okay so i have the tarot bag of the month club i also have a sticker of the month club um where you can get my graphic designs and you all obviously on my patreon will see all of my art before everyone else um there's a lot of other tiers check them out i would so appreciate the support as i'm trying to buy a house ah! But thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. And until next time, I will spell you later.